What if I told you I have unlocked the power to get 100% chance to critical hit with Hydreigon? Go for the Dark Post, that should guarantee a KO. Critical hit, yeah. I don't care if it's not very effective, it's a crit post. I think uh, Hydreigon just says, hey, I'm cleaning up this game. I, I got set up, I'm cleaning this game. Post again. <laughs> No Shadow Sneak, no nothing. Our opponent's not even trying. Dude, that's the power of this Hydra Egon, though. Funny. That's funny, funny, funny. Alright, there we go. That's the game. Okay, okay, okay. I'm not hacking the game, I promise you that right now. No, I'm actually using a very interesting focus strategy, scope lens. Hydreigon. Now this Hydreigon, like I said, once you set up that focus energy, it's a critical hit every single time. Very fun. Now you, the cool fun part is you can go for Draco Meteor, get your minus two special attack. It doesn't matter that you have a minus two special attack. You're still hitting basically at neutral power because you're critting every time. Now, I do have Nasty Plot in this set, too. I'm not going to lie. I like clicking it sometimes. You know, plus two, I drag on with 100% chance of crit. Yo, it is fun. It is super fun. Anyway, guys, enjoy the video. All right. Looks like our opponent, Jack George, is rocking out with a Maridon. Fancy seeing that here. Greninja, Palmont. Cloyster, Rever Room, and Hatsugiri. All right, fancy seeing Magirdon. Um, obviously don't have too much experience fighting that thing. Definitely, obviously, we got to save our Garchomp as, because Garchomp is definitely going to be important here. I mean, there's several Pokemon that we have to use Garchomp to try and beat. Tatsugiri, I mean, we can use Hydreigon as well. Um, cannot put Maridon asleep unless we Ice Spinner the terrain away from it. First, keep that in mind. So Amoongus most likely is not our answer. Even though, I mean, we could probably go for Giga Drains and Clear Smugs with it against the Maridon. I don't see no problem doing that. But it's just a matter of are we able to do anything by statusing it. We have to wait and see. But Mirror is leading things off against our Hydreigon. So, hey, Maridon versus Hydreigon. Turn one of this battle, my man. Okay. Um,. You know, I really want to go for that Draco Meteor. I'm trying to think of what Maridon really has against um, Hydreigon. Um, minus the uh, obvious dragon attack, right? But if I can Terra, that gets rid of my... And then I can go for Draco Meteor. And of course you switch, knowing that this is uh, definitely not favorable for you. <laughs> Sent out Tall Man. Hey, you know what? I'll take your Tatsugiri out. Let me go ahead, take your Tatsugiri out on a date, and, um, you know, just knock it out. We'll, we'll do that, that's for sure, you know, let's let's go ahead, take Tatsugiri, we'll take it out on a date, and, you know, it comes back all wasted. <laughs> it's all wasted after our date, you know? It, it can't even stand up for battle. That's how, that's, that's what Hydreigon does on that stage, you know? It, it, it's a crazy Pokemon, crazy Pokemon. Anyway. Draco Meteor taking out the Tatsugiri. Let's go. That was a that was a free move if I've ever seen one in my life. Palma coming out. Um I'm trying to think of what Palma can do. Yes, it is a fighting type, so I'm expecting some type of drain punch or something along those lines. Um, let me check the, their team. Obviously, I was kind of blinded by just seeing the Maridon. But, um, Corviknight doesn't look too, too bad here. Now, we can go straight into the Corviknight. And I don't hate that. Um, at the same time, I don't hate going into Garchomp either. But let's go into Arcanine. Let's get that Intimidate off. 
Let's see if we can Will Wisp this thing. Um, we could be expecting to see a Revival Blessing here, which would be very, very interesting, I must say. Close combat coming out. Hmm. Okay, so I can go for the Heat Wave. I can also go for Will O Wisp. And I really like the idea of just Will O Wisping right now. Just to see what. We, let's just see how that plays out. Because he is going to be switching into Greninja. And you know what? I don't hate burning this thing. It seems a little bit redundant if you're running the special Greninja. But if we tell you the honest truth, I've seen a lot of physical Greninjas. I have seen a lot of physical Greninjas here lately. And I've seen a few mix, so burning it is not that bad of a play. Plus it burns a Focus Sash if it happens to have it, right? Um, we can honestly be expecting the um, water move. So we can go into Azure we can go into Amoongus as well. Um, Amoongus will take the attack very, very well. We can go for Giga Drain. We should be able to, uh, I wouldn't say pick up a KO, by no means. But you can't tell me we're not threatening here. We are not threatening it. Um, the idea is... How many more turns of electric terrain is on the, in the field? Okay. So the idea actually is to try and get Maridon to come in this turn. So we go for Giga Drain. If we can get Maridon in on this turn, that means that it cannot set up the electric terrain. And Acrobatics coming out, doing like no damage. And unfortunately, though, there was no switch as we um, get most of our HP back, which is fantastic. Burn is still ticking away, but the terrain goes away. All right. So that means when the Maridon comes back in, the electric terrain will be set up again. It's very risky then to try and go for Spore predicting it because Maridon will obviously just take it very, very well. Uh, let's see, yeah, here comes the Maridon. And uh, obviously, like I said, the electric terrain is activating again. But hey, we're getting some decent. Okay, never mind. <laughs> I would say decent damage with that Giga Drain, but that did nothing <laughs> at all. Okay, um, what to expect here? What to expect? Electric move. A dragon move. It's what I'm expecting is a dragon move, but that's such a that's a hard Pokemon to play against, for sure, for sure. Because I really don't want to sack Azumarill. I'd much rather, if we if we're gonna sack anything, I think we have to sack the Arcanine. And what we can do is maybe try and go for a few snarls before it goes down, if we're lucky. <laughs> That's really if we're lucky. Overheat coming out. So fantastic. At least it's special. It, it lowered its special attack for me. So you know that that's nice. Um, do we expect the switch? I don't know why I went on that one. Um, yeah, yeah. But we still go for extreme speed. We still go for the extremes because we don't want to, um, because he's got so many fire resist, right, on his team. Actually, one of the few Pokemon, though, I can actually go for Heat Wave against, and of course, we miss. And this is why, ladies and gentlemen, you run Flamethrower instead of Heat Wave. <laughs> exact reason right there. Flamethrower does not miss. Heat Wave does. That could be, that could be a, something that costs us this, you know? Gloucester has yet set up a Shell Smash. So that's important to note. As that means Garchomp should be able to outspeed. And we should be able to go for EQ. And as long as we outspeed. I'm not saying that we're going to pick up this KO, but I almost feel like we could. Garchomp is that good. Garchomp's powerful. Garchomp has the power. Ooh, not quite. An Icicle Spear coming out? That, that was a waste of a Garchomp. That was a waste of a perfectly good Garchomp. Man, you 
hate to see that. You really do hate to see that. I was confident too. I don't know why I was confident, but I was sure confident. Hydreigon can come out down though. Basically, we just try and get rid of this cloister. We get rid of the cloister. He brings back out Maridon. Maridon. Ooh, are you switching? Okay, okay, okay. Palma coming out. Now, Palma should take this Dark Pulse like it's nothing. We being been part fight, fighting type. We have yet set up. That's still good damage. That is really good damage. We do know close combat, though. He does have close combat. So we go into um, Corviknight here. You obviously expect the electric move as well. Let's see what happens. Close combat comes out. We do take it with Azumarill. Now we expect the um, either switch, because he thinks that we have Aqua Jet. If that's the case, we go play rough. Play rough is the right play either or, though. But thank you for switching. Thank you for playing. Go into Mirada. Mir Mir Mirror? Let's go. Let's hit this. Hit this. Hit this right now. As you mirror. Bear, hit this. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Let's go. Mirada is out. Let's go. That's awesome. That's all we needed. As you may roll for the thumbnail prediction. Revy <laughs> coming out. Alright, waterfall it. Gunk shot. I mean, this battle is not over, and yeah, I just gave up another perfectly good Pokemon. Hmm, what's up with me giving up perfectly good Pokemon? That was such a that was that was a needed prediction. That took care of obviously the Uber of the team, the guy that was honestly holding the whole team together. Um, it's not over by no stretch of imagination. I really need to go for focus energy. I just hope, hey, I hope he misses or he doesn't do that much damage to me or he switches into Greninja. Miss. Would be um, very, very much appreciative here because I don't want to take that much damage. I really don't, aff can't afford it. Let's see. Yeah, ouch, we're at half HP. But hey, at least we're able to get this Dark Pulse off. Can, the question is can Greninja do half HP to us? Because his Greninja should outspeed us. If it cannot do half HP though, we're in. We, we, we got this. <laughs> Because we should be able to finish that off. Um, we can go into Amoongus, though. Palmont. Now, Palmont... Also is very threatening to us. As it can... I think Hydreigon's okay to be sacked here, right? Because what's alive? Like, I would probably want it for the Cloister. But I don't have to have it. I could go Corviknight. Corviknight is honestly looking good. So if we hit our Draco Meteor, fantastic. If not, oh, we got speed. Fantastic. Palma out. I thought Palma was faster. <laughs> guess not. I guess not. Awesome. Awesome. Electric Terrain is no longer. Thank goodness. Now Amoongus can actually go put, put some stuff asleep if we need him. Clear the cloister. You really need to go into your Greninja, dude. That's about the only thing that will outspeed me. And I'm shocked that you haven't done that yet. I'm really, really shocked. Okay, cloister is gone. Alright, last Pokemon is that Greninja. And that Greninja is burned. Ooh, that's why. Okay, so... I forgot I got him that low. So the burn chip is going to be what wins us this game against this Greninja. He can go for Ice Beam. He can go for um, 
uh, and practically anything. He's probably going to knock out our Hydreigon. I do have faith that my Hydreigon can live, though, you know. Uh, I have faith that he's very limbo and he can dodge and attack. Terrestrializing, I mean, yes, you probably need to be doing that. You should have done that a little bit earlier. Expecting it to be poison? It's actually water. Okay. So, yeah, super powerful Hydro Pump here. But we still have speed? Wow, I thought Greninja was faster. Alright, Hydreigon. Here we were talking about sacking him off, and he overheard me, and he's like, Dude, you're not sacking me off. <laughs> That's for certain, dude. I'm just gonna win the game. Good job, Hydreigon. Alright, Martin. Salute Edge, Miascarada, Dreadnaw, Volcanian's Evolution, um, forget that one. Um, I think that's Iron Thorns, the Triantar, and, um, Coridon. Yeah, Coridon. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's see what we can do here to spice things up. Let's see if we can get the W. Leading things off. I don't hate the Hydreigon. Honestly, I really don't. Like, show me your answer to a very aggressive Hydreigon player. I'm going to be going for Focus Energy. I'm going to be going for um, some full-on critical hit moves. Good luck living. And let's have some fun. The hair. That's some curly hair. Okay, Hydreigon against Solurage. Honestly, pause the matchup for us. I don't, I mean, okay, fantastic. I'll go ahead and set up my focus energy. I'm getting focused. I'm getting pumped up. As you go for Dragon Claw, hello, Lamau. Critical hit, too. That's kind of funny. That is very, very funny. Um... I was gonna be um, thinking about Terra Darking here, but knowing that you crit me, oh, well, you don't have Shadow Sneak. Yo, okay. Um, I'm gonna go full uh, full aggressive with this uh, Hydreigon. Um, uh, I might actually still tear this thing at 14 HP, guys. Not gonna lie, our opponent's team is not ready for this. Um, yeah. M Mecha Godzilla. Um, yeah. Terra Darking, something that's sitting at 14 HP, is definitely, definitely not advised. But, but, if we're gonna do it, if we're gonna do it right, you know? We're committing this strategy because I want to see if Hydra got 14 HP and 6 over our opponent here. Oh no. Never mind. Never mind. We we, we failed. A leechy berry. Oh, oh, he flinched. He flinched. <laughs> Let's go, Hydra gun. Let's go. Dark pose. Dark pose. Let's go. Had me worried. Had me worried, Hydreigon. You had me worried. Mariah, please. Setting up the sun with your Karidon, nickname Maridon, please. Uh, no. <laughs> Draco Meteor coming out. Critical hit, too. That's, that's dead. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go, huh, Dragon. And what I love with the Draco Meteor on this thing is that it lowers your special attack, but it doesn't matter because you're critting everything. So you're at, you're basically at neutral attack, but plus crit every time. It's fun. 
out of ten on your stat debuffs, it doesn't matter. You're critting, so you don't have no stat debuffs. It's so fun. It's so interesting. Cause watch full power. Ko. <laughs> Drenal is unable to battle. Dude, dude, dude. Hadrigon is showing up today. Meow Scarada Springtrap. Honestly, this thing's gonna KO me. But I don't even care, right? I don't even care. What? We have speed! Let's go! Guys, this is why you run. Focus Energy Hydreigon with max speed. Your timid max speed on this Hydreigon. And that's all you need, right? Silver Link. Silver Link. Okay. Kind of looks like banana. It looks like a big banana. Not gonna lie. Uh, yeah. Let's see if we hit our first and present. <laughs> you guys, you should have done that like five Pokemon ago. You should have done that like five Pokemon ago. Now you think about doing that, and you're like, oh crap, I'm stupid. I should have done that like five Pokemon ago. It's over. I mean, <laughs> as your mirror comes out, it's GG. G. G. Zen headbutt. Now you're gonna flinch me to death? You're gonna flinch? Nope. Play the rough for the win. Not exactly a sweep, but. You can't tell me how Dragon did not destroy this man's team. This how Dragon destroyed his team. Let's go. <laughs> Alright, guys. Best two out of three rock, paper, scissors. Let's go. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. It's paper. Whoosh. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Scissors again. Did I beat you? Comment down to below. Let me know what the results are. Let me know if I beat you. This is Logan Merriman signing out. Ha, <laughs> ha,